Budapest, Prague, Vienna. They're three very distinctly different cities, especially today. Each city has its own major language. Each city has a culture of its own. Why do we tie them together then? There's a historic truth which links them together. Prague, Budapest, and Vienna were, of course, important capitals during uh, the Habsburg Empire. It uh, began uh, to flourish, uh, and there was this uh, competition, of course. They're kept together by this great love of art, and I do think, in most of all, the great love of music. It wasn't just the approach to music as something which is here as a wallpaper to delight you. It's a reflection of the life. There was a constant flow of artists, musicians, directors of music. It was the home of Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, Schubert, the Strausses. We think Vienna is the west, Prague is the east, but take a look at a map. Prague is further west than Vienna is. It's really all part of neither west nor east, but Middle Europa. It lies at the crossroad of European civilizations between east and west and south and north. It's uh, the crossing point of uh, the Germanic, the Slav, the Magyar, uh, and southern cultures. So the musicians, the artists, and the people who loved these things all recognized that there was in them this great common factor, the love of great art.